Hi again, Matt Noyce. You know, I always try to make sure nothing that we do is a repeat of what we've just recently done, right? So we already did the monthly forecast. This is a look at pattern predictions out through the next two weeks. And what do we see happening in the next two weeks? I showed you the jet stream already. And now the troughing, the dip in the jet stream continues across the eastern United States. If you missed that, check out the monthly forecast on our own page, OneDegreeOutside.com. But what I want to show you now is what's happening at the surface over the next two weeks, all right? So we've colored in temperature. You say, well, I can't really line it up with the legend. That's all right. Bottom line, when you see the deeper oranges like this, that's where you get temperatures that are running in the 80s during the course of the day. Now, notice that that's not here over the course of this week, right? It's down to our south and west. What I think is interesting is if you go from, let's say, this Thursday, we just let things play through. We head out to, let's say, the middle of next week. It's warmer across the country significantly the middle of next week than it is this week. Some of the troughing may relax a little bit in the east, but really it's the nation's midsection out through the western U.S. where the warmth builds. What's even more interesting is if we take it from the 11th of September, go all the way out to, let's say, the 17th of September, the heat continues to build. And this is why in the monthly forecast I had talked about the second half of the month may feature enough warmth that it actually starts to unfold here at home as well. So when you look at the 14-day forecast, you're going to see temperatures that are near or slightly below normal. But just understand that there's more building off to the west. And that means that there is the possibility that the second half of the month actually ends up warmer than normal after starting out cooler than normal. I wouldn't say it's locked in. Locked in. Certainly this jet stream trough, this dip with cooler air, has been a very persistent pattern for the last few weeks. So to consider it's going to happen for another week and a half, two weeks, that kind of makes it a little dubious that it would actually break in the second half of the month. But it looks like it may. It may. Now, in terms of temperatures, you can see generally you're hovering in the low to mid 70s. Now, overall, the average high temperature for the month of September would be about 73. So you look at that and say, well, that looks pretty normal, right? Well, keep in mind, that's for the whole month, right? <laughs> We're still at the beginning of the month. This is for the first half of the month. You do have some days that get up near 80 degrees, although certainly the vast majority of them would be slightly below normal in the next 14 days. In terms of the dew point temperature, the measure of the amount of moisture in the air, a lot of you have really cared about this over the summer. It's been a really humid summer. And now as we head through September, you get so much time spent with comfortable air. You get a little spike in humidity that happens this upcoming weekend. With that comes an increased chance of showers. And then other than that, you get more comfortable air that comes in after that. And speaking of that chance of showers, you can see the shower chance increasing on Friday, kind of reaching a maximum Saturday, Sunday. Did hear from somebody actually on social media, it was just today, saying, should I cancel my outdoor plans as we go into the upcoming weekend? And the answer is absolutely not yet. No, because while there's an elevated chance of showers, what we don't know, and Danielle and I are very humble in saying this any time, is when you're this many days out, if it's not an all-day promised rain, which this isn't, then you don't know exactly what time those showers are going to hit. Do we luck out in the timing? And does it, if it wiggles by six or eight hours, now all of a sudden what? Showers come in at night. Or they come in uh, more on one day than the other, right? So at this point, no, I wouldn't cancel the plans, but I would continue to watch this chance of showers in our app. Set the location for wherever it is you're going. Put the search in there. Find the location. You could even go ahead and then hit pinpoint next to your location and find out exactly where that's going to be and watch the trend and the chance of showers as we get closer to it. And of course, our insights video that we always give you along the way looks out the next several days. You'll always find that on our home page or on the home screen of our app. Tropics. I think they're going to get more busy over the next two weeks. Uh, it's kind of a safe statement to make, right? We've got so much energy in terms of ocean warmth that's out there, but we've had a combination of wind shear. We've had a combination of dry air. It's been coming together, kind of keeping things. Now, the tropical waves are looking a little bit more impressive. And when we look at the overall favorability plotted out in red here, the combination of both kind of a lack of dry air and a lack of wind shear. In other words, favorable conditions for development. You start to see more areas of red. You start to see more areas of favorable conditions that tend to show up over the next week. I think that would only increase in the second week as well. So that gives you a little context behind the forecast you're going to see evolving on your phone. If you grab our app, Noises One Degree Outside Weather app, you can get it both in the App Store and Google Play. Follow along that 14-day. But please, if you can, always watch those Insights video. That's where we try to give you uh, kind of the real hints to what's going to be going on with the weather. And then it's not a surprise if the numbers change and the data on the app, right? Okay, that's how it looks for now. Hope you enjoy the lookout to the next two weeks. If you didn't catch the monthly forecast, please make sure you do. We'll see you with another update later on.